right, Shalom. First and foremost, call Halal Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. All praise unto the Most High, whose name is Yahweh. In the name of the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, whose name is Yahweh Shai by Shimmy Kakwadasha, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to my apostles and my elders, the great millstone who lead and teach real well. Honors and love to you, fellow Akim, pushing the word and truth and sincerity. And shalom warm to the listeners who listen and subscribe to the men and doctrine of Great Millstone. It's the brother you died from the GMS Atlanta Church. Wanted to do um, an impromptu video. Uh, and that's, I'm going to entitle it Snap Back into the Spirit. You know, and um, before I really get into it, into the, into the message, I just want to say, uh, Slacky, for the, for the lighting. Actually, um, I have my camera known I, I you know want to do my want to do these problems I use my camera my camcorder but for some reason the battery is low so or not not sufficient so I just have to go off my phone so it's lucky for that you know but um <clears throat> but yeah just to get into the message um once again entitled snap back into the spirit and really I want to put emphasis on it I, you know emphasis on snap back man like just be have have the ability or if you don't have the ability you know pray and ask to develop the ability to, to, to be able to snap back into the spirit man you know because that's one of what I saw <clears throat> I have a, an instance today which I'm, I may or may not go into the actual uh, you know details of the situation it's, it's really not the uh, Really not that important, but I really give more of a, 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 a synopsis or overview of kind of what you know, kind of how everything kind of transgressed or transgressed or kind of just happened, you know. Because really, I I had it, the spirit was on me to do an impromptu, you know, lesson, but I was meditating on a different topic the entire day. I, I had this. The spirit was on me to go into a whole different topic on versus what I'm going into now, you know. But you know, it's just the spirit, man. Like, you know, spirits like like the wind, you know. So um, you know, I just I just say this, you know. That that's going to be one of Satan's. And, and his minions uh, battle tactics man is to really get you out of the spirit man you know cause I'll say you know through the through the power grace and mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai the more and more that you endure in this truth you know and really understand you know the, the spirit of the spirit of truth and prophecy really working with you on a certain level, you know, Lord willing, you can move according to the spirit, you know, for longer periods of time, you know, when you first come in, like when you first come into the truth, you come, you come into the knowledge, you know, the real, the real wisdom and understanding of the scriptures and you really, you know, begin that walk, you try your best to stay in the spirit. But sometimes you don't really know how. It's kind of like it's kind of like you're you're in a ship or a boat, you know, for the first time, or even driving a car. You know what I'm saying? Just you know, you 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 moving. You know, you moving in the spirit. So you moving in a vessel, or you know, you moving. So you got to understand how the, the certain mechanics that come along. Damn, that's crazy. You got to understand the certain mechanics that come along and how you actually move, man. You know, for example, if you're in a car, you know, you got a gas. Well, you got you got the gas pedal, you got the brake, you got the steering wheel, you got the uh, your shift, like your, your transmission or your shift, you know, your shifter. You might have a might be a manual. You have a clutch. If you in a ship, and I ain't really, I ain't never drove a ship, <laughs> you know, or been, you know, captain or overseer of a ship. 
but you know there's certain there's certain obviously there's certain mechanics that are built into that that vessel that makes it they enable you to move you know so like i said when you when you first really begin to understand you know how to move in the spirit you might be able to do it for i'm just throwing throwing it out half a day you know and then you kind of just all the way out of the spirit you know you really and it's really hard to explain you know and, and it's lucky if, if i'm kind of vague but it's really kind of hard to explain really you just really you just know you just know when you in the spirit or if you you may not know in that moment but it'll reveal itself something may happen and you be like damn i handled that the right way and if you handled it the right way you handled it according to the scriptures how the scriptures say to handle it then you was in the spirit you know it really i ain't even it ain't even really about overcomplicating it you know what i'm saying it's it's just the more the more experiences you have in and dealing with certain things and you handle it the correct way that you can be conscious and you be aware like man i was in the spirit handling that or you'll even say you'll you'll see it's it's a mixed bag you know what i'm saying the spirit still might be up you know working with you to, to handle a certain situation but you might be like man, i could handle it a little bit better i could have at this point in this interaction i could have did this did that and i could have handled it a little bit better so you're still in the spirit but you know it's, it's levels to it or it might be a situation where you just go all you just go slap slap slam off man <laughs> you know and you handle it you handle certain situations adver uh, adverse to the scriptures for example let's say somebody let's say uh somebody trying to come at you and really trying to trying to agitate you and trying to you know really get you out of your for lack of a better word like your 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 your, 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 your peace your peace I, I i put it that way you, you know your your peaceful state and by them doing that you just go all the way off cuss them out you know what i'm saying tell them to come outside and try to you know come outside and fight fuck you you know what i'm saying you didn't handle it according to what the scriptures say so you're not you're not i'm moving and operating in the spirit you know and i say all that just you know for for example sakes you know for men who really kind of flowing with me and, and what I'm saying you like you understand you know and then for men who come across like man I don't know what this dude is talking about Lord willing it, you know this would be uh, something that you, you you might watch and be like man I, I know what the man's talking about now you know the spirit might reveal because really it's, it's hard to explain you really can't explain fully when you move in the spirit other than just saying you're moving the right way when you're moving the right way you're moving in the spirit you know and not to say that if you're moving in the wrong way the spirit ain't working with you but you're not moving fully in the spirit and if you handle if you handling things the the wrong way you're not moving in the spirit man so i'm just gonna try to put it that way because like i said it's hard to explain you know the scriptures being a, a book of instruction and, and and we knowing that the spirit the portion of the spirit that yahweh bashim yahweh shah wants us to know and understand is captured in the, in the Holy Bible, you know. So I try my best to to, to put it in a, a way that can can easily be understood. But but there are certain instances, man, to where these demons, the Most High. Let me put it this way. Let me say this too. There's gonna be certain instances to where the Most High put it on these demons to fuck with you so much. That it's gonna throw you off your pivot, man. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be unavoidable. That demon, cause that 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 that's really what it is too. You know what I'm saying? For men who've been in certain situations, for men who haven't, and you know, men who've been in it, they be like, yeah, you know, it's a demon, man. It's a demon trying to fuck with you, man. And then for men who haven't, it's like you might not understand why is this person always trying to fuck with me? Why is this person? always just being a dick why is this person just like the way he is when i ain't i ain't doing nothing to the person man. i'm just trying to do what i do move how i move and, and keep it pushing but really it ain't that that spirit necessarily it might be it might just be an evil fucking spirit you know but it's really most of the time gonna be demons hopping on that on that vessel on that person to try to fuck with you Cause them demons 
whether, whether the, the, the spirit of that person sees it and has the, 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 the ability to recognize it or not. It really be them demons that be honing in on us, man. Like, man, this guy, man, this fucking guy, you know. This guy, this, the, 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 the Lord has got something with this guy, man. You know. Why, why, why? And then, and then too, and then too, just like the, uh, the, the cliche in the world, misery loves company. Demon, if you watch too, and how certain people move, you'll see demons, um, huddling, to, huddling together and, and kind of being in the midst of each other too. Just like in, um, for an example, just like in, um, uh, I Am Legend with Will Smith. When he went into that house, I think I think the dog had went into an abandoned house, if I'm not mistaken. And then, of course, all them people they had they had that virus, you know what I'm saying? And that, that's what made them zombies. But you see them, you see them demons just all in the room. Yeah, I went to yeah, I went into the to a house at one point. I think, I think the dog I ran into an abandoned building. And he went into one room. It was dark. He went to one room. He had shined the light, and you just saw like dozens of demons just stayed just huddled in, in the room, just huddled there. And that's really but what be happening a lot of times in the world. That's why certain people tend to click up, you know, if you watch it close, because they have similar demons on them, man. Them demons are actually clicking up. And that's why it's hard for us a lot of times to really be cool with these people out here. Because we don't have them demons on us, man. You know, through through the power, through the power and mercy of Yahweh by Shemyan was shot. He's cleansed us of a lot of demons, man. You know? So a lot of a lot of times, Lord willing, a lot of times, you don't even really do, just through utilizing the scriptures, a lot of times, you don't even interact with a lot of demons, man, because you the spirit is how you just ignoring them, you know, rebuking them, either in, in the spirit, in your mind, verbally, you know. You might use wisdom and how to just get in and out of certain conversations. But there's there's certain times, man, just like um with Joe. When um when when uh when Satan was in the midst of the Heavenly Father and, and the Heavenly Father asked and the Heavenly Father asked uh, Satan Satan no, what, what, hey what's what, what you doing? What you doing, Satan? <laughs> you know? Of course, I'm loosely paraphrasing, you know, just in, in, in recounting the story. And Satan was just like, I just been, I'm roaming to and fro, you know, on the earth. And the Most High said, and the Most High said, Has thou considered my servant Job? And why did he do that, man? Why? First of all, first of all, it goes to show you this. It goes to show you this as well. That the Most High is the father of all spirits, man. The Most High is the father of spirits on the left hand side. And the father creative spirits on the right hand side, man. So even with these evil spirits, these demonic forces, we really don't have to. We we sh we shouldn't be in the spirit or of the mindset of being afraid of these fucking spirits, man. You know, because at the end of the day, at the beginning and the end of the day, we gotta trust in, in the spirit given to us by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, and in, in the knowledge and wisdom and understanding of these scriptures, man. That the Most High, he, he's even though in the past we may have succumbed to the, the the force and energy of a lot of demonic forces, man and spirits, and even and even now, of course, of course, we're not perfect now. Of course, there's times we you know there's we fall short, man. You know, but there's a lot there's a lot of a, a demons, man. That 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 the Most High, Yahweh by Shemi Shai, is allowing us to conquer, man, to slay these motherfuckers out here, man. But there are certain times, like I said, just like with the Most High, the Most High Yahweh, when he he he, he, he confronted Satan, he was like, you know, have ha, has thou considered my servant Job? And that's a major statement too, because one, what is that saying? The Most High called Job his servant, because why? Because Job had the mindset and mentality of of, of serving the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, the most high at that, at that point, you know, before Yahweh shot, you know, hit the scene in the flesh. 
But Job had the mentality and mindset of being of being a a, a stand up righteous man, man. You know, righteous man. And and through his actions and through and converting converting his faith into actions showed himself to be a servant of the of the heavenly Father, man. But what? But what? What can the Most High Yahweh do? The Most High, being being the Father of all, of all spirits, could at any point, can at any point, direct a heavy demon your way, man. And at any point, have that demon hone on, hone in on you to such a degree that you can't avoid it. You can't avoid it. There are certain times you gotta confront demons face to face, man. You have to. There are certain times that the Most High put you in a, a, a square, a spiritual square circle, so to speak. That He forces you to to duel and box, you know, wrestle. That He forces you to engage big boy demons, man. You know. And and yet the first test in that, if the most high, if the most high, yo, if the most high does that, really, for real, for real, you can't run neither, man. Don't run, man. Now of course, don't rely, don't rely on your own understanding. You know, try try your best to stay in the spirit at all times. Cause, you know, one thing I remember from the world, from certain people saying, you know. It take a it take a long time to to build a good name, a reputation. You know, it's good to speak about. Um, I believe, roughly paraphrasing, a, a man's a man's name is more precious than gold. You know, roughly paraphrasing. The the point is, your, your name is precious, man. You know, it takes a long time to build a good name, a good rapport. You know, to to gain certain. Uh, to gain a certain level of respect from from your colleagues or your peers, but it takes a, a split second to lose it all, man, and to put yourself in such a, a situation to where it's like, fuck, man, you know, you lose. It might take you five, ten years, fifteen. It might take it might take your whole life to build your name up, man. And and through one bad interaction, you could just it could be gone to the point you gotta start from scratch so that's why I was saying first of, you know first of all you can't if the most high puts you in a situation to where he wants you to engage with a big boy demon don't try to run man recognize what it is recognize it's a big boy demon now sometimes sometimes you might not catch it in the moment but at some point catch it if, if at all possible and if you can't catch it Try to utilize the scriptures. Agree with our adversary quickly. Um, uh, be slow. Be slow to wrath. You know, even just them baby milk scriptures. Baby milk scriptures. If you don't even understand the potential explosiveness of a certain situation, that'll carry you through. So we're going back into the back into the topic. Snap back into the spirit, man. You know, because. That could be an issue too. It could be an issue to where the most high said to send a big boy demon your way and throw you off your pivot and that shit, that demon actually jumps on you. You know what I'm saying? That's why if something like that happened where it shake you up, you might be thinking about it for the rest of the night, you know, the next day, two, three days a week, two, two weeks a month later, because that demon actually hopped on you, man. But if you snap back into the spirit, rebuke that fucking demon, replay, replay this, the situation in the scenario, you'd be like, man, was I, first of all, was I in the spirit? Yes or no? You know, if I was, if I was in the spirit, hey, take a big boy mental note, man. Cause that might, that might have been the warning from Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai for you to be like, man, next time you might not be so lucky to get out of a situation unscathed so to speak you know that might be a situation to where you actually 
fuck up your good name. You know what I'm saying? And put yourself in a situation, like I said, going back into that saying, it take a long time to, to build a good name, but in a split second, you can lose it all, man. Or on the flip side, you can, you can get into a, a, a jacked up situation real quick, but a lot of times in situations that really be jacking you up, it take a long time to get out of it, man. You know what I'm saying? On the flip side of that. So, if you if if a certain situation, especially especially with a person, if a person can get you to the point, a, a specific person get you to the point that they get you out of the spirit, hey hey, avoid that person, man. That person obviously has some serious demons on them. You know, uh, a wise man. A wise man um, pretty much recognizes evil and and uh, avoids it, man. Simple. Don't be trying to be all. That's pride too. Don't be trying to be all big and bad and prideful, man. I know this person got demons on him, man, but I'm a, I'm gonna conquer these demons, man. Nah, bro. Avoid that person, man. That's you. You avoiding. You avoiding. Um, Big boy demonic forces and people, man. That's actually you being just moving in the spirit. You ain't gotta be exercising demons off of people, man. If you, you know, if they just a goddamn two third nigga, you know what I'm saying? Send curses up on their ass, man, and they family. Fuck it, we in that time, man. But with all that, that's why I said, think, of, you know. Replay a situation in your mind and be like, was I in the spirit? Yes or no. If you weren't in the spirit, yo, take heed, man. Take heed of what got you out of the spirit that, to that to that degree. And and make and make proper adjustments, man. It ain't that hard. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's simple. You know what I mean? But um if you was in the spirit, but you could have handled it a little better, alright, what could you do better the next time? And if you handle it pretty much to the best that you can handle it, hey man, give praise to how about shit how shot. For for um, imparting in you the wisdom to handle situations like that. I mean, really, you can give praise to how about shit how shot in every situation. You know, pray without ceasing. But really, the I say all that to say. When something like that happen, snap back into the spirit, man. Don't let... Now, of course, there's certain times that, you know, you're going to just kind of feel low because that's that's just how it is. But don't let one bad interaction or some... One bad interaction just throw you off, off your pivot for an exterior, extended amount of time, man. Cause really when that happens, like I said, that's that's that demon actually hopping on you, man. If you go through something and the most I deliver you from that, hey the body how about Shimmy I was shy. You know, Baba Kusha getting more knowledge, wisdom, understanding. To handle the situation even better. You know, put curses on that person that, that that's that's fucking with you. And snap back, man. Because otherwise, like I said, either that demon going to hop on you and you ain't going to know it, but it's going to it's gonna show its ugly head at some point. And you're like, man, what the, what the, where the fuck did that come from, man? And you ain't going to have no idea. Or, just like it's going to speak about, um, Satan is like a it's like a, a roaring roar, roaring lion uh, going to and fro, seeking to whom he may devour. That might just be Satan putting a, a smaller a demon in you, or planting a little demonic seed in you that might one day become a, a spiritual weed to just suck slowly suck the, you know the spirit out of you. You know the the the, the good portion of the spirit that you have by some you have a shot put puts in you to just suck those those spiritual nutrients out of you 
So let's snap back, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Listen, man. We in captivity. It's fucked up out here. We got to deal with a lot of niggas. We got to deal with a lot of uh, two-thirds. We got to deal with a lot of wicked women. We got to deal with way too many heathens. <laughs> you know? We got to deal with Edomites. We got to deal with a lot of shit that we know, really. You know, if, if, if there was a king that we would not have to deal with. Especially up front and personal, live and direct. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's all good, man. It's all good because the Most High just got us in a, in a, a training program, man. Most High's got us doing some spiritual sparring day in and day out. This, you know, for us to be built up. You know? Like I said, the most high's got us in um spiritual sparring sessions to, to, to have us um be built up in the spirit, man. That's really what it boils down to. But a, a part of that, when, whenever you're training for anything, a big part of your training, man, is your recovery. You know what I'm saying? Cause, cause you you recovering cover you recovering properly can get you back on a training field, you know, or the the, the the training domain faster and stronger. Cause you you know you recover right. You know what I'm saying? If you if you working out and you 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 leaving the gym and you eating shit, you're not eating you know the proper calories and nutrients and proteins to to, to feed your muscles. In, in your body after you train it might take you two three times longer to get back in that training arena or you you might go back that in the, in a similar time frame that you really could have recovered better and the next workout won't be won't be optimized man you won't max out that workout because you didn't recover properly it's the same thing in the spirit when something happened don't just bask in that fucking um don't just bask in that 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 in that scum, man. Like, go take a spiritual shower, man. Go read, do a lesson, just like this. You know, like I said, I had, and I know I'm not really quoting a bunch of precepts, but I had a whole different topic in my mind. You know, the entire the entire day I was meditating on a different topic, man. But I had a certain situation that happened right before I left the plantation. I'm like, yo, this fucking guy, man. You know. But I caught myself not even getting really just like not not exploding, but just getting to a certain point. And then the spirits had me just tapered down. And then, you know, when you have a, an emotional, emotionally elevated type of situation, sometimes you might still be amped up, man. You know, you might be shaking. You might be, you know, tense. But a few minutes after the whole situation, I'm like, man, fuck this dude, man. <laughs> you know? And I was like, damn, man, like, you know, Thawadi Haobashimi, I was shocked. I'm like, damn, that's actually spiritual growth because that's the spirit because I would, I, in, in the past, I ain't really been like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the past, I'd be like, man, you know, walking around angry and shit, man. But at the end of the day, that's a part of you should. You showing your light before before the world, because the whole time this whole situation occurred, there was another Jake there, and he saw the whole thing play out, and this 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 big this this big headed fat belly nigga <laughs> was kept antagonizing me, you know. But it, I looking back at it, you understand. I understand it was demon. You already saw demons on him. I already saw demons on him, but I saw this man had a lot of demons on him, and he had ma he got major demons on him. You know what I'm saying? But after the whole situation played out, the the one Jake who kind of saw both sides, I I even apologized. I was like, man, my bad. You know, you know, I, I apologize for you seeing me out of my character. You know what I'm saying? Which I didn't really, I didn't really um do too much you know like i said the spirit had me kind of cap it and then bring it back but you know just to, to be peaceable i was like man you know I, I apologize for you seeing me out of my character you know i'm saying you know i don't really 
get like that, you know. But the dude was like, nah, bro. He was like, he was like, nah, man, you handled it the right way, man. <laughs> you know, even the Jake was like, nah, man, you handled it the right way. You know what I'm saying? And he even said, he was like, man, me, honestly, I wouldn't, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I wouldn't even engage with him to, to that extent. But that's why I say those demons, they fuck with us more because it's this, the spirit of how about me, how it shines on us, man. And like I said, I don't even normally go to that that point. But like I said, there are certain times, just like with, um, which I'm not comparing myself to Job by any means, but there are certain times, like, like in that situation with Job, where the most high, Yahweh, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, the most high, through the Messiah, might be like, yo, this level, six demon, yo, focus on this man, or focus on this man's rib, or focus on this man's kid, or focus on this man's mom. And you got to interact with it because the most high is forcing your hand. You know what I'm saying? But when that when that happened, man, Lord will, you can we can utilize the scriptures and address some situations the correct way. And from there, man, snap back into the spirit, man. It, it ain't no need. Cause even even now, myself thinking about the situation going forward. It's like, man, now I really can just avoid. I got, now there's one less person for me to even have to worry about engaging. Because now I know this person's a demon. You know, now, now he he pretty much, this person pretty much has played his cards. And I see his whole hand. And I'm like, man, your hand is shit. I don't, ain't don't need for me to even <laughs> to engage with you on a spirit, on any type of elevated, spiritually elevated tip. Because your your hand is shit. Your hand got all demons in it. <laughs> and I don't want none of those demonic cards. And that's that's the beautiful thing about these about these situations, man. You know, and I don't wanna I don't mean to I don't wanna ramble on and on. But like I said, the main my main message is to is that there, there's gonna be certain times that the most side's gonna play you, play you, push your hand and push you to actually engage with certain spirits, man. And even if you gotta, sometimes you gotta rebuke them, you know, avoid them. There's when you when you actually en engage them through the spirit, you know, take that time afterwards to um, evaluate how you moved in it, you know, and then snap back, man. You know, we gotta at the end of the day, we got a mission. To, to keep our focus on, man. Our mission is to to do the, the will of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh be in the name of the Heavenly Father, by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai being the true name of our Lord and Savior, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, man. Our mission is to attain our own personal salvation, help our help our fellow yokemen, our Akim attain their salvation, you know, and bring the rest of the one third, the the elect, you know, one third of our nation to salvation, man. Bid them to the marriage. That's our mission, man. That's that's why we're here. You know, we we should always try our best to snap back into that mindset, man. You know. So I'm gonna end off with that. Lord willing, you were edified. Once again, call her law, Yahweh by Shimmy Hawa Shai. All praise unto the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh. In the name of the Lord and Savior, nation of Israel, your name is Yahweh Shai, by Shimon Kakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and my elders of Great Millstone, who lead, teach, and rule well. Honors and love to you, fellow Aki, and pushing that word. In truth and sincerity, Lord willing, you edified. Until next time, Shalom.